Hello. Uh, welcome. This is the Elu Cohen Research Group. I'm so happy to be able to go through this series of videos, finally. Um, so it has come to my attention <laughs> through rumor and through people in the world, basically on social media. I don't know what value that has to everyone in this community. Um, but it has come to my attention that a lot of people are under the misunderstanding that both the treatise of reintegration of beings and secondary literature is about some kind of theological or biblical study, uh, somewhat of a midrash on the Bible. And uh, if you know theology and, uh, you know, that, that kind of seminary training, um, that you'll understand what you're talking about. And the reason why I wanted to make these videos finally is because um, with the uh, most popular Martinist group uh, of Elu Cohen's, and that is the Order Martinis Souverains, um, they have recently said that they are going to withdraw the teachings on the Elu Cohen from uh, basically anybody who's not in the... Uh, the grade of SI and that is that's public knowledge you can go on their Facebook page and take a look at it um, I've been an Elu Cohen enthusiast as most of you know uh, for almost 20 years so what I'm doing is putting together a non uh, secret but definitely revelatory system of research on the Elu Cohen. Now you say you don't have any theological training, you don't have any understanding and the blah, 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 blah. I've been, you know, laughed at in groups of uh, popular people who claim to know everything there is to know about this group. And uh, I have to tell you that I'm very excited to make this presentation. What is going to happen is in the group of uh, teachings that I'm developing uh, called the Elu Cohen Research Group, and you can find it on YouTube. It's super easy. I'm going to leave everything open to the public, um, except for the literature you might have a hard time getting. Uh, you may have to buy it through me, uh, through a private Lulu, or um, you just you know, come watch these videos and hopefully it'll be enough to satisfy your curiosity. But if you want to know more, you're definitely going to have to study along. So the, the praxis is, is basically, uh, each grade of the Elu Cohen, and, and this can really easily be seen in any of the public facing documents that, uh, again, the Order Martinis Souverains has put out. Um, they have cornered pretty much the primary sources uh, on the treaties, uh, not the treaties of reintegration. So I am wrong on that. It never got produced. Um, and I don't think they have a version, but they have the 10 lessons uh, or 10 instructions to the man of desire. They have the lessons of Leon. They have the secret instructions. And if you go on academia.edu, you'll see all of the catechisms for every grade. So that is a very good public resource for anybody curious in the Elu Cohen. Um, if you want to go a little bit further, you can read Serge Callier's uh, Seven Seals of the Elu Cohen, which is really, really close to the only public facing document that you're ever going to find that gives you true bona fide information on the Elu Cohen. Um, if you're a little bit luckier, you can go to the Society of Martinez de Pasquale and you can uh, read their bulletins. I think there's like 31 or 32 of them now. Um, they're in French, so you'll have to have either a friend who reads French or find a way to read French. But if you can do all that, then you can piece together every resource that is available in the Elu Cohen Research Group. 
And I'm now in possession of at least the rudimentary teachings, catechisms, diagrams, circles, everything from the beginning of the grades all the way to the end. So um, you and us and the world is now going to finally be revealed what the insiders have known about the Elu Cohen for so long. Now, the secrets, you know, they're secrets. So you're not going to be able to watch a YouTube video and learn any initiatic secrets. What's going to happen is you're going to learn the overall structure of how this group works. Then the structure is going to help you read the source documents in a way that you would not have been able to see had you not learned of the structure. So the first thing I wanted to go over was that. Um, and, and as a recently past friend of mine had told me, the Elu Cohen must, must be uh, analyzed, investigated, considered, and uh, definitely scrutinized on its own terms. It cannot uh, incorporate things outside of the system to understand the system. It's, it's not built that way. It's a closed system. So once you know the system, you know exactly how the system works. But if you don't know the system, you cannot bring something outside of it into it and make it fit. You cannot bring Kabbalah. You cannot bring any kind of theology or theosophy that you are aware of that doesn't get explained in the source documents. Uh, so we go back to the science that, uh, that San Martin talks about. This is an esoteric science and you are going to have to rely on the source documents to teach you the terms of the science. So that's good. But how do we learn out of all of these pages Especially, you know, the Treaties of Reintegration is 300 pages. Lessons of Lyon is a couple hundred, 300 pages. Secret Instructions is 300 pages. I mean, out of these tons and tons and tons of pages, how do we go down, drill down into the actual system of the Elu Cohen? And that is why I'm creating the Elu Cohen Research Group. Um, not only in the early 1960s did uh, Ivan Mosca decide that he was going to shut the order down, but also Ambelain gave full uh, consideration to Mosca for the perpetuation of the Alu Cohen. It was shut down, but it was resuscitated in the late 80s by uh, Robert Amadou through the work he did in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And then in the 2000s, um, there was a little bit of an effort um, in the U.S. and other areas. And then highly in the 2010s to 2023, where we're at now, there was a large resuscitation of the Elu Cohen by the previously mentioned Order Martini Souverains which they still offer these degrees uh, to those who are found to work through the system. So that's the last time I'll mention a closed order. Now we're going to go into what the Elu Cohen Research Group is going to teach. So if you look now at your screen, you'll see that we have a pretty nice uh, design PDF of the Elu Cohen Research Group. In this PDF, which is, you know, it's it's brand new, so I haven't built the books yet. Um, this is solely based on research of the system, in the system, of the search terms that you're going to see in the system. This is not my interpretation because I'm such a smart guy. Uh, this is my research based on source documents and extant historical sources that will allow us to understand the system for once and for all. So uh, as you as we go through the material, through these videos, um, I'm not going to reveal everything, of course, um, but we're going to get a better glimpse than we ever have had historically till now. And it is my pleasure to produce these documents to finally put to rest all the quote-unquote garbage 
philosophies of those who want to impress into the yellow cohen because of its mystery because of its uh popularity and because of its prestige um to turn it into something that it's not which i too tried to do when i first started studying the system and i was told do not do that because this system cannot be approached outside of its own terms so what are its terms the first thing you're going to learn is that there's bands or what they call elections. There's also classes, there's also uh, grades, there's degrees, uh, they, there's an entire lecture on every one of these terms in the beginning of the catechisms. Um, I'm not going over them because you can read them yourself, but these are the first, second, and third degree symbolic apprentice, symbolic companion, and symbolic master. This is what's called the blue band of the Yellow Cohen, um, or the first election. In this group of teachings, you're going to learn what these three degrees are, what happens in the rituals of the first, second, and third degree. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go over everything, but what we will go over is the catechisms, which are public and available on academia.edu. By the late Paul Rana, um, Unfortunately, he's not here to champion this effort, but we will go through the catechisms and what he found to be one of the most important things uh, that is in this system. So thank you, Paul, for teaching us uh, this far. And hopefully, here, let me adjust my camera a little bit. <laughs> ah, I'm moving. Uh, Hopefully, we will be able to understand, based on what you've left us, how to see the Elu Cohen. So, in the first catechism, it's from the BMG, which is uh, Bibliothèque Municipale Grenoble. Uh, my, 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 I was going to say Microsoft. <laughs> manuscript 4123. And what these manuscripts are, most of them, are uh, there was an archivist in the 17th hundreds, 18th century, um, and he was named Joseph Prunel de Lier. And uh, de Lier actually wrote down all of the stuff he could. He, he was very much like our uh, archivist now. He gathered every possible thing he could from every single source he could, and he made these manuscripts, which we refer to as the BMG 4123, 4124, all the way through 4129, I believe, um, including many, many others. So, uh, I'll be referencing this series of documents, which is available on Academia EDU, in their prospective grades. So 4123, uh, the extract of what is contained in the grades of the Order of the Elu Cohen. And as you can see, this was uh, done by Sarkor de la Croix, uh, who was the late Paul Rana and the Grandmaster of the Order Martinis Souverains. He resuscitated the Elu Cohen when it was really just dead. Um, he pumped blood and life and energy into the system. And so I am truly in debt to him for his work. And uh, going forward, we're not going to let those who want to make it in their own image ruin his life's work. So you have questions and answers. You know, what is the knowledge that man has lost? And you have an answer. How did he lose this knowledge? Very general things. But the answers, what I've done is I have uh, gone through the source documents and what I pose to do in this series of catechisms, let's see if I added it here, is, um, nope, I don't have it here. One second. Do, do, do. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and pull it up. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to like this. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, there's a lot of documents 
for the Alu Cohen. I mean, if you're going to go by source documents, there are so, so many. So in paying homage to um, Paul and uh, his work, uh, I have made a concordance. So you'll see the concordance of the source documents of the Elu Cohen's. This is not by Order Martinis Souverains, but their literature is what has like propelled this effort. So their public facing literature is what I've used to put together this concordance. And you'll see a link in the concordance. Uh, and then you have the symbolic apprentice, uh, the manuscript 4123, which we were just going over. And you'll see that it has 14 sections. Okay. And uh, I took the answers from each one of the sections and I put them in their own little area. Then I cross-referenced the source documents. So you'll see now at the bottom of it when I'm finished, you have terms found in the treaties of reintegration. You have, let's magnify this a little bit more. You have words like the body, the spirit, which I was like, there's too many sections. Uh, the altar, the east, ceremony, temple. All of these sections are paragraphs or sections of the Tretus of Reintegrations. Um, and if you have the new Amorc tradition uh, version, you'll know. I mean, this is for insiders. So um, I can pull up that that section to show you a comparison but if they go by these sections which are pretty standard then um then we will be able to locate these terms that are in the catechisms uh they use the word word you know uh logos 106 times is it in the logos definition i don't know you'll have to research it uh, but here are the terms for each one of the categories then we have the lessons and the section of the lessons of Lyon. So we have a concordance for the lessons of Lyon for each one of the words in the, cate in the catechisms of the first degree. Um, then you see that there's 10 instructions to men of desire. Now, a lot of people don't like the explanatory information and commentary by the past grand master of uh, the Order Martinis Souverains. Um, I don't know who they are, but I've heard in uh, rumors on Reddit that some people have their own concerns. So I have indicated that in the concordance. You have explanatory introduction, including the glossary, those sections which are said by the Grand Master of that order. Then you have the source text. So all these areas are in the source text itself of the terms that are found in the catechisms. Uh, the next you have 4126. Again, not referring to any footnotes whatsoever, just referring to the terms in the source document itself. Um, you can see East has too many entries since this book is partially operational. So I did my best in searching through the terms and going through each one of the degrees and giving catechisms. These will be included in the Alu Cohen Research Group books um, that I will privately produce for people who want to study the system. If you don't want to study it, it's fine. You don't have to at all. But um, please don't pretend that you know what you're talking about if you don't know what you're talking about. Because these catechisms are the basis to, th that the order used and the basis that any future order should use to understand the knowledge of the source documents. The catechisms were given to individuals to synthesize and to what we like to call coagula, the little seed pieces of information that were in the ritual that were the most important to people like Martinez, uh, Saint Martin, uh, Jean Baptiste Willermos. These were pieces of information and had been used since antiquity and Freemasonry and other uh, secret organizations to condense large pieces of mnemonic information and found in the ritual that has an impression on you, but that can't be brought to mind without a trigger. These are the triggers for those that have gone through the rituals, but also 
they are triggers for those who are reading and studying the source documents too. So we're going to use them in the same way as ritualistic triggers are for those who have seen the rituals. They are also Gnostic triggers for those going through the information trying to learn the, the taxonomy and the, the terms, the lexicon, if you wish, of the system. And I'm very proud to be able to do something like this. Um, it's never been done before in public. Um, but, you know, the Grandmaster gave us all these catechisms and they are absolutely of value. Um, they are for free to anybody who wants to study these source texts in depth. Uh, so you can, with the proper index or search function, uh, go through your favorite Elu Cohen source text and use these catechisms to get a general feel for what that degree is about. Um, if you're studying for the uh, companion degree, you'll learn what is the preparation of the chamber of retreat? What is the chamber of retreat? There's footnotes if you want to go through what these are. You can double check the French because the French sources and even the similes of the original documents are in these academia.edu presentations. So you learn uh, on the southern corner, there's a small table. What is the southern corner in the yellow call? All of this has a specific meaning to it. And I don't, I don't necessarily want to be the know-it-all, but these catechisms are the know-it-all and the source documents are the know-it-all. So what I'm showing you is a system on how to understand and research these terms on their own terms without um, obfuscating what the real meaning is. So let's, let's turn away that. I hope that you're enjoying these presentations. I'm going to go through the treaties of reintegration and show you more and more things uh, that the source documents say that we can study them on. So at first we'll go through the blue band, then we'll go through the black band, then we'll go through the red band, the green band, and the white band, uh, which is the entire system as Martinez set it out. And we'll look at the cross references that Serge Callier tells us through the Society of Martinez de Pasquale, through the uh, other documents that are available to us from the Yellow Cohen, uh, from other source documents such as the Liber Gris, uh, no, wait, wait, uh, Liber Vert, oh, I said it right, the Green Book, um, which includes things like the White Book, it includes things like the uh, other special documents. If you know what you're looking at, you can see them there. Um, and so there's so much available to us researchers now that there's no excuse not to understand the system on its own terms. So I'm really happy to be able to present this series of videos. Um, like I said, we'll go through each degree as they show in the catechism, as they show in the new concordance that's being built. Um, if you want to help with the concordance, let me know. I can shoot you a link to the Google Doc and you can help build this concordance um, if you'd like. If not, then I'll shoot you a link and you can see it as it evolves. Um, it'll go from first degree all the way through to the real qua. So um, there is no real catechism for the real qua. Um, it's not a catechism. But we'll get there when we get there. So the the work of the Roqua is a little bit more special. And we have to go through this systemically so we understand what Martinez was doing with what he had on the terms he was using. And to do that, we're going to use modern scholars like Serge Callier. Uh, we're going to use Saji uh, I believe his name is uh, Saji Nahon, uh, Michelle Nahon, uh, things like Thierry Lamy, all these great scholars of Martinism and the Yellow Cohen specifically, Robert Amadou, Robert Abalan. Um, we're even going to look at things like uh, George Court. So please, please come back to this channel if you want to learn more about the Yellow Cohen. I'm glad that we got this first introduction out of the way. And the next video we review will be 
a architectonic structure of the treaties of reintegration. Thank you.